ESPN and Fox both. It's like the number one thing. Is it time for Michigan to move on from Harbaugh? It's happening in real time. I Bottom line is they're not moving on from him. They're holding you hostage. You should be offended by it. But I think enough of your fan base, whatever percentage you want to say, is, is brain dead enough that they're not. I mean, hell, there's hosts on this station that are willing to lower the bar to make what Harbaugh's doing acceptable. So, you know, again... I watched that game yesterday. I really thought you were going to win the damn thing. It was clear from from go after you recovered from the, you know, again, a, again, Don Brown's scheme somehow allows a safety to be singled up against Jerry Judy, which is just asinine. The whole point is you recovered. You had the lead going into the half. You go, you know what? Bama is not into this at all. Go win the game. I mean, it's, you know, it wouldn't fix all the sins of the world, but it, it beats losing. Arbaugh, what does Arbaugh do? Like, what is this? You think if Tom Herman goes seven and five at, at, at Texas next year, you think Tom Herman's keeping his gig? He'll be gone. He just fired his coordinators. That's the precursor to getting fired. Kind of like what Matty P did. Michael, you have some Lions news. Oh, some huge Lions news. And yes, this is uh, brought to you by the midsize mattress from Mercedes Benz Vans. Are we still doing that? Lions announced not two firings, but they announced that two coaches will be. Let me guess. Let me guess. Stepping down? Close. Another guess? One more? Uh, Personal matters. Basically, Basically the same thing. Two coaches will be, quote-unquote, stepping away from the game of football. You're fired. It'll be Jeff Davidson and Paul Pasqualone. Paul Pasqualone. Oh, that poor old smoothie. Let me at least read you. You knew they were going to scapegoat him. Oh, that poor old guy. No, they didn't. This was his decision. This is from from Matt Patricia. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll be stepping away. On Paul Pasqualoni, Coach Pasqualoni notified me this week that he will be stepping away from the Lions to be closer to his family. Let me help you with this. Paul, we're going to put a bullet in your head. Unless you step away and say you want to spend more time uh, with, with your wife. This is a joke. Finito. Yeah. So what's the choice, Paul? Uh, do you want to dine on the proverbial bullet? Or are you going to say you're going to spend more time with your kids? Which is it? We can do it the easy way or the hard way. You real, hold on. Let me, let me, hold on. You want to set the scene. Mike, everybody, yeah. everybody close their eyes. Close your eyes and just imagine this. I want to set the scene for you. Imagine Paul Pasqualoni, who is a defensive coordinator in the National Football League. This is the last NFL gig of note he'll ever have, right? And I don't know what Pasqualoni makes, but do we agree he's making more now versus collecting Social Security? Yes? Probably, yeah. Okay. I had a good guess. Close your eyes now. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Imagine Pasqualoni walking into Patricia's office and going, Coach, yeah, Paul, I got to talk to you for a second. Listen, I, um, I'm i going to step away. I, I miss home. Well, Paul, I mean, you're a valuable member of this football team, and, and, and you're my mentor, and I, I want you here with me as we see this through. Yeah, I, listen, I want to do a little more babysitting, a little more fishing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step away. Now, do, can you in your mind even imagine that situation? That's no, I can't. not even. Unless he was, yeah, paid off or something. I don't know. Right. I mean, that's. Now, here's how it really went. Hey, Paul. Yeah, yeah, Matt. Listen, be in my office 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Paul, here's the deal. Uh, our defense blows. They're going to throw my ass out on the street if I don't fire you. So I just got to call it like it is. I love you. You're my mentor. It sucks, but it's business. You're fired, or you could just say you're stepping away. Like, why do teams even do this? Why do teams even play pretend like these guys willingly stepped away? Yeah. You were going to get fired. No one believes that it was Paul actually coming to Patricia and saying that. Yeah, yeah, Coach. I, I, mean, I miss home. But he said, here's the rest of the statement from Patricia. Coach P is one of the best men I've ever been around on both personal and professional levels. Wow, that's I a owe great him story. so much, and I'm grateful of the impact he had on our players, coaches, and support staff. He will continue to be a great sounding board for me as a coach, father, and leader. I wish him and his family well as they begin the next year together. Yeah. P.S. I fired him. 
That's the best. This is the best. This is this is the best. It's everything's laughable because Paul Pasqualoni. <laughs> how do you oh, Pasqualoni? Oh, oh, I will, Sully. How do you get rid of the DC, the linebackers coach, the DB coach? Correct. The basically only thing there is your defensive line coach. No, it's, the, a, it's a chalkboard and a Gatorade machine. But the guy who actually runs the defense is still here, okay? Uh, correct. So you also get rid of your offensive line coach and the guy who invested everything in the offensive line for two, maybe three years now, is still running the and, Detroit Lions and right and now. you've fired two straight O-line. Yes, exactly. But that guy, get you know, he gets to draft some more offensive linemen. David, 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 it's no different in New York right now. Pat Shermer, you're the problem. But the guy who put the team together yes, isn't? Yes, still there. What? It's, everything is laughable right now because I knew this was going to happen. All right, buddy, go ahead and, you know, we'll just say you're yeah. tiring. Yeah. Go let, ahead. Me, let, me tell, let me tell you how it's going to work when he goes to use Paul Pasqualoni as a sounding board. <laughs> Paul, coach, you there, Paul? Ew, you fired me during the holiday season. Nah, this is, this is we call this the Lovey Smith. This is where you throw your assistants in front of moving cars so you can save your job. They've talked about my <laughs> they've talked about my job all my life. Okay, so uh, if I was gonna let that stuff bother me, I'd have been out of this oh, like forty years ago. <laughs> now that of course was from the Irishman. Yeah. It is what it is. It's what it is. I heard you paint houses. <laughs> No, I That's mean, what Paul Pasqualoni said. Well, it's what it is. You have to be. You just have to go. It's what but it like, is. But like, why do teams even go through the trouble? They're not fooling they anybody. They think they're having respect. It's either way, he's going. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We just I had thought, to include you. I thought we were going. I thought we were driving up to Michigan. Either way. Oh my God. Poor Paul. Somebody, somebody better check out Pasqualoni. Make sure he's not boarding. Uh, <laughs> are they meeting at a restaurant anywhere? <laughs> Wait, wait, which Paul did you talk to? They're all named Paul up there. It's, 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 what's happening? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> poor, poor Pasqualoni. This poor man. Paul Pasqualoni. <laughs> he, he gets brought in as like a, a thank you for a lifetime of mentorship. He gets the retirement gig. I'm going to be the D.C. We're taking over a 9-7 and seven football team. All I got to do is kick back, not screw the pooch. And this guy, I mean, what a what a world. He gets literally, this is the equivalent of Patricia pushing him out onto 696 in front of a Mack truck. And yesterday, the Lions had obviously announced that six assistant coaches are going to be fired, whatever. So hold on. So then these two get an extra day, and then it's this thing. But also, it was just announced about an hour ago that, and what a, what a selling point this is going to be for new, for, new job, for new coaches. It was just announced that the Lions coaching staff will be coaching the Senior Bowl this year. Who? Even though they don't have a coaching staff. Who? So there's a selling hire, point for some coaches. What are they going to hire extras? Yeah. They're going to bring in some neighborhood children to work the Senior Bowl? They don't have anybody. It's Matt Patricia and a tackling dummy. I, like, hold on. Can, can we, could we possibly get phone calls on this? Like, how, how is it? That Patricia gets to stay, but everybody else was the problem. But wait, wait, who hired these people? He did. No? There's no doubt about it. It doesn't, it's, it's. It's typical too, because what did Bob Quinn say in his press conference? Well, you know what? We got to look into our strength and conditioning because of all of our injuries. We also got to get better on defense. So then they go do this and Does don't anybody blame think Patricia. Into looking into the general manager who puts this rat ass product on the field? Honestly. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's the same damn thing I'm dealing with. I got a GM in New York. Dave Gettleman basically admitted he doesn't understand how compensatory picks work with that Leonard Williams deal. Go look that up. See how happy you'd be to have if Dave Gettleman as your GM. You know, up next, Jim Harbaugh is going to announce that Don Brown is going to be spending more time yeah, with his family. Yeah, you know, Don Br look, Don is an amazing football coach, a trusted confidant. Uh, and uh, it kills me to see him go, but Don really just thinks it's the right time to quote step away. Jim, listen, you've done everything you could for them. <laughs> Either way, he's going. Paul Pasqu.
Aqualoni. <laughs> Poor Paul. It's not going to be as fun without him around. Oh, well. It's rivalry week. That's right. Michigan, Michigan State play this week.